Okay, I'm here with Gamebuster and DuckDuckDog, and we're going to test out sort of a new plugin I made a couple weeks ago. You guys ready? Yep. Yep. In three, two, one, go. Ban us both. Oh, I forgot to. Oops. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. What? <gasps> what? This is so amazing. Oh That's my god. That's awesome. That's actually okay. That pot was there. That's, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, it spent like forever, a couple weeks I ago, doing this. Swallowed pots at the beginning. Dude, look at you get racked. Holy shit. <laughs> But then, you know, I, I come back with my little, uh... This is so amazing, like, I almost want to, like, do a recording on this. Yeah, this is awesome. You should do, like, a fight of, like, four people in an arena and just replay it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, this, this is, like, I've spent forever implementing, like, blocks changes and stuff, and so it whenever... it like, shows the time of the fight. Duck, duck, dog hits uh, the um, grass block over here, it'll break, too. I think it's now? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Fortunately, the item drops broke at some point. I don't know when they broke. They were fine the other, the other day. Yeah, I iron blocks like, are... I dropped uh, a bunch of stone. Yeah, a bunch of stone. I have to fix that, I guess. Whoops. Anyways, that was my replay. I uh, saw this idea... Work, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, I saw this on the I'm spigot forums a couple days ago, and I was like, wow, it's actually really cool. Yeah, and I uh, decided to redo that. it. That's sick. And uh, it should no, end, so but I... I forgot to end it at a certain point, so it just continues until I end it. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to create Game Buster, I'm like, why are you- So wait, wait, wait. But, it ends at some point, right? Because, I mean, you started it. Yeah, I ended it too. I just forgot That's to awesome. end it. Awesome. That's actually oh. really cool. Right, so it supports a whole bunch of things. Like, if I put this pig down, then I start recording. And then I spawn a horse. Give it a bunch of sugar. I need a saddle. That's fine. Um... Apparently you can't actually go into your inventory when you're doing this. Interesting. Tame the horse, get a saddle. Put the saddle on the horse. Ride it around a bit. Where'd the pig go? What? Oh, it's over here. Get off the horse, kill the pig. Kill the horse. And then put on some armor. <laughs> and you'll see that it all saved and actually plays probably perfectly, although I'm not sure that the items work necessarily. Appear to have broken at some point the item in the hands. Actually, that's really unfortunate. That or maybe texture pack I'm using could have broken. I don't know. No, no, it's not broken. Never mind. Then the armor goes on. Or not? Never mind. Hmm. Oh, the armor didn't go on because I didn't actually put it on. You can do boats and stuff if you're still recording. Put in the water. Crash your boat on the other side of the river. And stop recording. You can see all that happen again. The number is strange. Must have messed up one of the handling on one of the packets. Boats don't despawn correctly. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's, not, it's not flawless. Let me just put it that way, because I figured out why the items in my hand didn't work previously, and I'll show you in a... If I start recording, I cycle through all my items, and then put it on this chest plate, and then disconnect Snow Skater, and then take off the chest plate and go through all my items again. This is where the problem arises. So you can see I have seconds of the items, and I put on the armor piece. Yep. And then Snow Skater will disconnect. Disconnected. And then nothing will change. And here is why that is. And this is something that you could definitely have changed. But I tried doing this, and I did this for some things like player movement. You can see my head moving, for example. Um, I listened to the, the um, client bound packets for other players. 
And what that means is basically if there's another player in the distance to receive that packet, then yeah, the packet will, will be recorded. But if there's no one in the vicinity to record your packets, then the packets are being sent, therefore the server isn't isn't recording it basically and like I said there is, it is possible to fix this just by having mimicking everything that every player does as if you were the server saving the packet separately and I did this for player movement like I said if I record say myself just running around right here uh, and then I replay see I'm moving and uh, it looks fine for the most part um, basically my alt was all the way over here and what that means is, I guess I wasn't rendered, or the like, server didn't think it was necessary for, the, for it to send all the packets to Snowskater. And so some of them were sent, I guess I was on the border of that, because I saw my um, the saddle go into my hand, and I was over here somewhere. So I guess I was close enough there. But basically, that was the problem. There's, yeah, slight problems with this, because it's not 100% flawless. Another thing you can do, is you can do block changes and stuff like that. So you can place blocks, you can destroy blocks, place other blocks, kind of stuff like that. Um, blocks, unfortunately, not 100% supported. Um, it will revert all the block changes made during the replay, but it doesn't save the state and record every single block change after. Which means it's not really practical to use, I guess you could say. But, but it does replay blocks and stuff, so... Technically it works like that. So yeah, there's some pretty unfortunate flaws with this because, like I said, or not like I said, I'm pretty sure I haven't actually mentioned this, but this is just a like pure prototype. I saw this on the Spigot forums one day. I was like, that looks really cool. I want to do that. Um, and I did that, you know? Like, that's all there is to it. If you're going to do something like this, then probably go about it a different way than I did. Either way, the source code is actually linked in the description if you're interested in looking at it. Um, I didn't make it a Maven project. I don't want people compiling it and, like, using it because it's not meant to be used. If you record too long, then you're going to have too many packets, and having too many packets means essentially you're probably going to end up, you know, filling your memory. I don't know if that's actually possible, but um, I guess it could be possible. Either way, there's risks involved, definitely, and there's no way of saving them either. Um, they are literally just a, like a linked list of uh, packet containers. This does depend on protocol lib, and it is 1.8. Um, I made this before 1.9 came out for the most part, and basically what that means is, and 1.9 is significantly different from the 1.8 protocol. So I don't feel like going through it all again and rewriting everything. Well, that's gonna be it for today, guys. So, bye.